Before trying to learn any of the hundreds of different chords that you see listed in the appendix, I'd suggest you experiment with some different methods of picking with your right hand until you find the very method you'd like to concentrate on for the moment. For example, instead of just brushing a thumb down across the top three strings, you could pluck each string with a separate finger. Your index finger on the third string, middle finger on the second string, and ring finger on the first string. See how different it sounds. And you needn't pluck these three top strings at exactly the same time. See what happens when you do this. Bass string, first string, second string, third string, bass string again, all three. I'll do that over and over again. A little faster. Or you might experiment with brushing down on those top strings with the back of the fingernails of your right, middle, and ring fingers. This way. See the difference, the way it sounds. The first strumming with your thumb sounded like this. But now you pluck with your thumb and brush down with your fingernail. Or you might use a flat pick or a plectrum, the way professional guitarists do. This is useful if you have to make a lot of noise, but it's not really necessary if you're just playing at home for yourself and friends. Along this line, there's also the possibility of using a thumb pick. See the picture. It's good for getting a good sharp thump out of the bass strings. which leads us into our next lesson. To play an endless series of chords on the guitar can in the end be very, very boring. You'll find it a lot more interesting to introduce what we call bass runs, that is, melodies and counter melodies in the bass strings. They can be very simple, like this, starting on the fifth string and going up. on the fourth string, like this. Or down. Or you can play an entire melody on the bass string. Now might be the best time to learn some new chords, because it's much easier to play melodies in, for example, the key of C. Now look at your diagrams, and here's how a C chord should sound. Or like this. And to go with it, a G7 chord. And to complete the customary three chords, an F chord. Now try this. Hardy getting away. You 
sort of seen John Hardy getting away. Oh, there's a number of other melodies you could pick out by ear or by studying the tablature and the music they're given in the brochure. Pick out the ones you like, try them. Often folk singers will play one verse and then sing it. And while singing, they just play the bass notes and chords. If somebody else is singing the melody, you can actually play a counter melody if you want to make one up. Mm -hmm. 